let's cover some agile methods frameworks methodologies to understand in depth about the popular methods and frameworks that organizations use in agile let's look at the scrum framework in detail uh, it starts with a product backlog essentially product backlog is nothing but uh, prioritized features uh, sometimes it will have uh, defects or technical tasks uh, any kind of uh, work that the team has to do that the agile team or scrum team has to do we take the high priority features from the backlog considering the current product condition the very first meeting which we do in scrum is sprint planning meeting sprint planning meeting has two parts part one of the meeting we select the features that we want to implement in the sprint how the team is going to select those features depends on their existing throughput or velocity means how much work they can accomplish they have a history historical number they use that and plan to select the number of features they can implement number of stories sometimes we call them in agile part 2 of the meeting we break down those stories or features into tasks we add up the hours that each task is going to take and see the confidence of the team that they can commit to for the current planning then the sprint execution starts after that during every day of the sprint execution we do a meeting called daily stand up meeting it's an inspect and adapt mechanism built in in scrum during the daily stand up meeting the entire team comes to the board sprint board we call it and collaborate on the progress that they are making together on the tasks activities that they have been doing for the sprint it's an opportunity for them to realign if needed to see that their commitment for the sprint planning is going to be met by them they constantly collaborate all through the day also in addition to the daily stand up meeting during the sprint the team is going to spend an average 10 to 20% of their time for refining the product backlog so that the backlog will be ready for the upcoming sprint planning sprint execution takes through all the working days in the sprint in a in a 10 uh, days that is 2 weeks sprint usually 10 business days the team sprints through all these 10 days at the end of the sprint the team conducts two meetings which are sprint review meeting or sprint demo meeting sometimes we call it wherein we inspect and adapt the product product increment that what we made as a team all the stakeholders including the product owner role in scrum and the team members also any other stakeholder whoever is needed will be part of this sprint review meeting or a demo meeting during which the accomplished product increment is demonstrated team members also will be present in the meeting we see what has been planned in the sprint and what has been accomplished also product increment is demonstrated as a working software usually it is done in a stable environment like a qa environment which is simulating the production environment that's how the product increment which is accepted by the business people in case of scrum it is the role of product owner and other business people they accept or reject some of the features done and some they might 
reject at the end of the sprint we conduct another meeting called a sprint retrospective meeting which is another inspect and adapt mechanism of empirical process essentially the sprint retrospective meeting aims at continuous improvement or kaizen wherein the processes the behaviors the products and all the related metrics are inspected and adapted the team at the end of the sprint ideally celebrates their commitment and the success towards their commitment